please welcome back to the channel um can you believe it we are looking at may uh hella handmade creations already i can't believe it's it's time for this um hella handmade creations is a monthly indie collective uh where you can find nail polish body oil nail on uh body oil wax melts um stamping plates all kinds of good hand and nail care stuff um, it's open from the 14th to the 21st of every month. Check the website for the exact time. Um, I'll link the website down below. Uh, today we're going to go through the, only the nail polish because that's usually all I buy. We're going to go through all the nail polish and create a wish list um, of things that I think would be pretty fun to buy. Uh, so let's get into it and please excuse my um, 1900 number voice. I'm dealing with allergies. so. Just enjoy that. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the first item up here. It's 1422 Designs, A Room with a View. Um, this is really pretty. This is, this. where's the description? Oh, there, I just went right past it. Um, it's inspired by the great outdoors, A Room with a View. Uh, it's a blue turquoise polish with pink, purple, blue, shifting shimmer, and metallic gold flakes. It's gorgeous. It's on, There's only 100 available. Um, so if you want this, let's uh, get to the sale early. Yeah, that's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna put that on the wish list, although I have so many of those. Uh, let's take a look at the next one from Alchemy Lacquers, Forgotten Swamp. Um, this is uh, second, the second in a series inspired by, inspired by travel posters from the Star Wars universe. Um, 150 of these are available. It's a dark navy jelly nail lacquer with orange, gold, green, shifting shimmer, blue metallic flakes, and holographic flakes. It's really pretty, really interesting. It's inspired by Dagobah. I don't know if you know if you know the Star Wars reference. That's where Yoda is. Is that where Yoda is from, or is that just where he passed away? I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't watched it in a long time. Um, this is kind of fun. It does look textured, so I imagine you would need either a thick top coat or a glitter grabber top coat look at this picture see this i love this view of it um i'm gonna say no but it's possible that i could go back to it <laughs> next up from all mixed up lacquer trapped between the books it's the a part of their goosebumps series uh, 200 available and it's a sheer gray base with a burst of glitter containing everything but the kitchen sink and that's true look you got flakies you got hex glitters uh, looks like some bar glitters in there uh, black shreds yellow oh look there's an orange triangle glitter in there there's there's quite a lot oh and it glows really cute not something I would wear but if you love a really good packed glitter polish, this this is one for you. Next up, Atomic Polish Milk State. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's a new um, series for them. I've never seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, so I might have to watch the show to, to understand. Um, no cap. I really love Atomic Polish. And I don't normally go for white polishes, but Atomic Polish has such a good formula that it, it makes me want to try it out. It does have some really pretty like glitter in there, some pink and orange and purple. Um, you know what? Let's add it to the wish list. It's, you know, it can always we can always change our mind. Baroness X, nothing is written. This is the last of the desert series. Uh, it's a gray cream based fluid art polish with bronze flakies and it's inspired by Lawrence of Arabia. Um, it says cap TBD, so maybe as we get closer to purchase time, they'll give us a, an update on the cap. Baroness X has this whole fluid art series that, I mean, these are just gorgeous, what, what people can do with their nail art. I have no idea how this is done, but I love looking at this. I'm not going to add this to my wish list, mainly because I don't understand it, um, but man, that's pretty. BCB Lacquers, Azareth Metrion Xenthos. Oh, geez, that's that's tough. It's inspired by DC Comics. Um, it's purple base with a strong blue, purple, pink shimmer and hollow flakes. 200 of these available. Now, this is a really gorgeous blue. Really gorgeous. I'm not going to put this on my wish list just because I don't like the flakies that are in it. But look at 
that color. And even with a matte top, it looks gorgeous. Excellent. Really pretty. All right, our first duo of the day. Um, if you're new to Hella Handmade Creations, um, it's really popular for uh, several creators to offer these duos. Um, so they create two polishes. You can buy them separately or you can buy them in a duo. So here, this is um, Dana Vienna. Um, they're offering lemon curd and lemon zest and blueberries. So this, uh, this is their series inspired by pastries and desserts. Um, the lemon curd is the bright yellow curly base with green to gold aurora shimmer and lemon zest and blueberries is that clear base with the green to purple flakes and purple circle glitters. So let's see if we can get, and there's a hundred of these um, for the duo. There probably is also a cap for the single polishes as well. Let's see if we can get some shots of these individually. Yeah, here we go. So here is lemon curd just by itself. It's a really, really nice lemony color with that sort of sheen in it and then can we get the can we get the yeah here we go here's the lemon curd and blueberry or the lemon and blue lemon zest and blueberry topper um with the circle glitters and the flakies this is cool i don't have a lot of yellow polishes just because i don't think it looks good with my skin tone um but the Glitter topper is kind of fun. I'm gonna say no to both of them, but if you're interested, um, there are actually three listings. There's this duo listing, and then there will be a single listing for each of the polishes separately. So make sure you're adding the the correct one to your your wish list or your cart. Really cool. Next up, uh, by Vanessa Molina, the second uh, duo in um, in May. Um, and it's a continuation of their 90s cartoons series. This is the Mystery Machine, so Scooby-Doo. Um, so Mystery Machine is the lime base with Aurora Shimmer, and Snack is the iridescent flaky and chrome flaky uh, topper. Um, 75 of these are available for the duo. So you can see here the two bottles together. The lime is on the bottom, and then the you know sort of flaky bottle on the top. This is not my, my thing. I, I don't like the lime color, um, and I just don't wear toppers that often, so I'll say no to this one. Color Spectrum Polish Daily Announcement is next. Uh, it continues their Animal Crossing series with Daily Announcement. It's a buttercup yellow with pink to green to gold Aurora and gold sparks. It's inspired by Isabel. There's only 100 of these available. A really pretty yellow shimmer, just that's not something I wear normally. So, next. Okay, this is automatic add to wish list. Look, before we even talk about it, <laughs> I'm pushing the button. Caloris to Carol, one of my favorite uh, brands with Stone Baby, and it's inspired by the Flintstones. Uh, bright green, clover green crelly with iridescent chameleon flakes, blue metallic shreds, black flakes, and chameleon hollow glitter. Only 120 of these are available, so get there quick if you want this one. Look at this. First of all, the green, just the green is my kind of green. And then look at all these shreds and pieces and fun in here. There's so much fun in here. Yeah, this is my jam. Once again, Caloris de Carol ropes me in. Crystal Knockout, Fast Twilight. A bonus habitat of the cat shade. So this is, I don't, I don't know that reference, I'm sorry. Um, it's inspired by the Speedy Cheetah. It's super shifty and shimmery polish with shades of gold, pink, and green, iridescent red gold shimmer, and light gold reflective glitter. No cap. This is really cool, especially if you like a gold shimmer. I don't wear gold hardly at all, I would say. Maybe, maybe once or twice a year. Um, but this is super pretty. It's really packed with some pretty colors. So good job, Crystal Knockout, just not for me. Cupcake Polish, oh, I love cupcake. Outfit Repeater. This is the end of their Lizzie McGuire uh, series. Uh, it's a purple to teal, teal duochrome, no cap on this. I never watched Lizzie McGuire and I have a ton of purple to teal, but this is really cool. It's going on the wish list, even though I probably have like a thousand of these. Next up, Dom, I think it's Dom nail polish. Last time I said damn, but I think it's Dom nail polish. Their duo, Rowdy Rabbit and Honey Bunny, 
it's con a continuation of the Hello Kitty and Friends uh, series. So Rowdy Rabbit is that light purple curly with assorted pink, white, and black glitters and a touch of pink gold shimmer. And then Honey Bunny is the light pink curly with assorted pink and white glitters and a touch of pink gold shimmer. There's only 50 of these duos available. So, you know what? These are really pretty. I wouldn't normally wear this kind of sort of pastel. Um, I think they're both really a little pastel for me, but I... They're really fun. I don't know if I would get both just because I, I I don't wear enough pastels to warrant both of them, but I think if I got one, I probably would get that pink one, which sounds so strange because I don't wear pink that often, but look at the way those glitters kind of layer on top of each other. I really like that, although the purple does it the same exact way. I don't know. I think they're both really pretty. I'm going to say no to the duo, but I think I'm going to throw that pink one um, on my wish list. Emily Damali. Emily Damali might be my... Is it my favorite? I don't know. It's really up there. Emily Damalo Absinthe. It's the series inspired by um, artwork. It's a khaki green base with silver reflective glitters, a pink to green shifting large particle aurora shimmer. No cap on this one. Um, Emily Damali does reflective glitter better than almost anyone. Look at that. Look at that pop that comes out. Look, I love this where you can see all the different little colors, the pinks um, and the green in there. I'm going to say no to this because this is, has a little too much yellow in it for me in, in the green. Um, and I don't really wear reflective glitters just because it's it's just not my thing. But um, if you're in the market for a green reflective glitter, I think this would be a really good choice. They always have quality polishes. Envy Lacquer Fire Swamp, really similar to the Emily Damali in my opinion. And this is inspired by the best movie ever, Princess Bride. Uh, Fire Swamp is a deep yellow green base with red and gold reflective glitter excuse me, bright red crystal flakies and a bright red shift. There's 200 of these, these available. Not for me, just it's a lot like the Emily Damali that we just looked at, too yellow green for me, but you know, you can't go wrong when you're inspired by the Princess Bride. Femme Fatale, be cool. Don't be like all uncool. This is, oh, this is the end of their Oceanic series. It's a turquoise green, blue, purple sheen over a deep blue base filled with holographic micro flakes. Um, they recommend two, th two to three coats. Uh, 200 of these are available. This is gorgeous. And the only reason I'm not putting this on my wish list is because I purchased the Kathleen Co. Fun Dip from this month's polish, polish pickup. I'm gonna uh, pop a picture of that up there and so they're they're just the same almost the same polish so I didn't need both of them and since I had already paid for Kathleen & Co unfortunately Femme Fatale is not going to make it onto the list however if you missed polish pickup and you just really really love you know this sort of teal color um, especially with the hollow flakies in it this is a great option for you Garden Path Lacquer, Let Me Go On. It's the Music of the 80s series. It's a juicy orange curly base filled with pink shifting Aurora Shimmer, pink and purple shifting iridescent flakes. It's inspired by Blister in the Sun by the Violent Femmes, no cap. This is really pretty. I, I mean, I think it looks good on a lot of skin tones here. I just don't wear orange hardly at all. So, um, but really pretty. And if you're an orange lover, this is nice because it has a little bit of, you know, the flex in there. So it's not just flat. Uh, you have Girly Bits, Midnight at the Concord. It's a continuation of the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel uh, series that they're doing. An intense pink to green gold shimmer in a sheer blackened base with small matte pink glitters and black micro flakes. It's intentionally sheer. Um, so if you want something that's a little bit more opaque, go with three coats. And then it would probably be best to do a glitter grabber type coat, top coat. Uh, cap is TBD right now, so when we get closer to the 14th, let's check back. This is not something I would really wear. It's, I don't know. I don't know. It's just not, it's, it's just not doing it for me. So not going on the wish list. Next up. Hearts of Promises, Esmeralda. This is inspired by princesses. Um, so Esmeralda is one of the princesses. I'm not sure 
what movie that one is from. I probably haven't seen it. Uh, it's a light violet base loaded with silver reflective glitter, gold flakies, turquoise metallic, purple metallic, and purple blue micro flakies. 300 are available. I don't normally like reflective polishes, but this one is super pretty with that, the blue flakies and that purpley base. I'm going to add this to my wish list. I also have never tried Hearts and Promises, so this would be kind of a fun one to try. Heather's Hughes, Need for Speed. This is, oh, this is the um, series that they're doing with the custom paint jobs on her son's favorite import cars. That's pretty cool. This is inspired by the Nissan GTR. It's a bright green jelly base packed with orange gold lime color shifting shimmer and green gold copper color shifting iridescent, fl iridescent flakes. No cap. I really love this green and I love those green flakies in there. It's really pretty. I just don't need more green at this point. I've got a lot of green, so we'll say no to that one. Uh, Indie Polish. Oh, here's another duo. Indie Polish by Patty Lopes, Mysterious Factory, and Winning Ticket duo. It's inspired by the Tim Burton universe. Um, so Mysterious Factory is the black base with Aurora Shimmer, and the Winning Ticket is the Multichrome Magnetic, ooh, with Teal Hollow Micro Glitters and Iridescent Flakes. There's a hundred of these of the duo available, and then probably a hundred of the singles as well. Let's see if we can get some. So here is, this is the magnetic, uh, here's the magnetic shot that you can see. Um, Here's a different view. These are not my thing, um, even though I do love a good teal, but I, just, I don't need another magnetic and it's just not doing it for me. So not this time. Lily Pad Lacquer, Green River. It's, uh, we're still going with the CCR um, song inspiration. Um, and it's an olive green scattered hollow. 75 are available. That's better than last time. I think last time there were only 35 available. I was lucky enough to get one of those, so that's awesome. I like this olive green. Uh, I know a lot of people don't really care for olive green, but I think it's pretty. I don't personally need another olive green. I think olive green is one of those colors that, you know, you can have a couple and then you're good. So I do have a couple. I don't need more, but that's really pretty. Next up, we're going to talk about Luna Wax Mordor Polish. This has got to be, yeah, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. It's a magnetic polish with a dark gray base and micro blue teal flakes, pink, orange, gold shifting magnetic shimmer. There's only a hundred of these available. Look at this series of pictures, the four different pictures and how pretty all those shifts are. I really like that. Um, to me, just looking at some of the pictures, it doesn't look like the magnetic effect is that strong and if I'm gonna go with the magnetic I really like it to be a super strong shift um, so I'm gonna say no to this one but if you're in the market for a magnetic polish this is a cool one to try out Lin B designs we're still going with the gnome theme here uh, Lin B designs go big or go gnome it's a deep purple base with teal to blue to purple shifting chunky shimmer and added hollow sparkle only a hundred available I think I have last month's gnome. I think I do. So I kind of feel like I need the next one. This this picture right here pulls me in. This is exactly my kind of polish. And it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous in every picture. So that's going on the list big time. M and N. M and N polish. We're looking at the duo, the superhero and friendship duo. Um, the superhero is the neon pink base with iridescent aurora shimmer. Friendship is the iridescent flakies, black flakies, uh, reflective glitter, and aurora shimmer topo. Set aurora shimmer topper. Seventy-five of these duo duos are available. Let's take a look at these individually. Here's superhero just by itself. Looks like it's pretty sheer. Um, so you would definitely need to, you know, load up the, the coats if you, if you like it opaque. Ooh, let's check out that. That's a really good picture right there. And then here is a shot of the topper by itself. I actually think these are really great by themselves. And then once you layer them, I don't like them as much. Um, so I would probably 
wear them. I mean, I would if I'm going to buy both of them, I would buy it in the duo because I think you save a dollar, but um, I probably would only wear them on their own. Really pretty. I don't I don't need them, but I so far out of the duos, this one's my favorite. Moonshine Manny Dra Dragon. Uh, this is inspired by mythical creature mystical creatures. It's a deep teal feel deep teal filled with purple to violet iridescent flakes and a fiery red copper gold magnetic glow. Um, 200 are available. I don't like this and I don't know why because teal I love the flakies I love. I, I really can't explain why I don't like it. It's just not hitting me. I don't need this one. Sorry. Music City Beauty Lapis Lazuli. There's only a hundred of these available and I think this is the most accurate uh, inspiration that you're ever gonna get. This is inspired by the Gemstone Lapis Lazuli, full coverage micro glitter and it has navy, silver, sapphire, galaxy, hollow micro glitters. hundred of these available. I am going to pop a picture of Lapis Lazuli up in the corner uh, for you to see. I think spot on, they really did it. And here's a shot with the reflective glitter going going crazy. This is really pretty. I'm gonna put it on the list. I, I don't know if I necessarily would buy this because I have a lot of blue, but I need to remember that I really like this one. <laughs> Nailed it, uh, Life Orb. 300 of these are available and it's inspired by Pokemon. It's a turquoise base with red, gold, green, and pink, gold crystal flakies, black micro flakies, and hollow flakies. This is a pretty fun looking polish. It's just jam packed with glitters and flakies and, and all kinds of goodies. I think it's really pretty. I just bought uh, something from the Rogue Rogue Lacquer fifth birthday celebration that it reminds me of. Um, except it was uh, the one I got was a little bit more gray versus teal. So I'm not going to get it just because I just, I just purchased something that's, that's very much like this, but this is really cool looking. So I, I enjoy that. Naps and Nails Solidity. And this is by, oh, this is still by the artwork of Mario Sanchez Nevado, Mario Sanchez Nevado or Nevado. It's a red base polish. It's loaded with UCC flakes um, and a beautiful magnetic pull with hues of green, blue, and violet. There's a hundred of these available. This is really pretty. Here is a great shot of the magnetic pull. I love this combo for magnetic, like that sort of magenta and blue. And look at it matte. That's really gorgeous. I have, excuse me, I have a magnetic that's, no, I don't have a magnetic that's similar. I don't really need any more magnetics, but this is really pretty. I'm gonna add it to the wish list and we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. Night Owl Lacquer, Mad and Needy. It's, we're still on the Gilmore Girls series here. It's a bright red filled with vibrant magenta orange gold shimmer, no cap. This is a little too much on the orange, orange side for me. I like, more blue leaning reds um but if you're into more of the orange leaning reds i think you would really enjoy this and night owl lacquer has a really nice formula so not for me though polish one of my absolute favorites you wicked thing it's inspired by the witchy woman series uh it's a soft green shimmer with pale pink and hollow flakes no cap on this one um they only have the one photo so far um, it is only the ninth. We've got, you know, five days to go. So they might add more photos. We'll have to check back in. I'm not going to get this just because, I mean, I've got a ton of, a ton of green polishes. Actually, I just did, uh, some updates on my collection spreadsheet and uh, you know what? I thought green was going to be the, the winner of my, you know, top color, but no, I have more blue than anything. So that was surprising. Even though I, I don't have, you know, the most greens, <laughs> um, I still have a lot of greens, so I don't need this one. But you can't go wrong with polish, really. Paint it pretty polish, pop or soda. So they're still doing the this or that series. Um, so this one is, what do you call it, pop or soda? I am from California originally, um, and I've lived in the South for 
30 years, almost 30 years. Uh, so I call it soda. But if you are probably above the Mason Dixon line, you're a pop kind of guy or gal. Uh, this one is a magnetic polish with hollow sparkle and micro flakies. Only 150 of these are available. This is really cute. I don't care for this picture. Um, but when you see that really purpley, uh, purpley vision with the little Harry Potter lightning, uh, <laughs> lightning magnetic, that's really cool. I'm, I, this is not for me. Um, I don't need it, but I enjoy, I enjoy paint and pretty polish. And I, I love that the theme that they have here. Painted polish better in blush. We are still in the, I love blush series, uh, with paint and polish, it's a sheer blush base with pink holographic micro glitters, crushed gold metallic flakes, and micro holograph holographic flakes. Only 125 of these are available. I have the first two in the series, so I'm going with this one as well. So we're adding this to the wish list. Look at it in matte. Ooh, that is pretty. Here's another look at it in matte, and then here it is in the, the glossy. I mean, it's great both ways. And painted polish is just kind of the standard for me. I love painted polish. Uh, ooh, pampered polishes. I'm surrounded by idiots, Disney villains. Uh, this is their Disney villain series. It's a warm tone red jelly with an abundance of metallic gold flakes. Oh, this is uh, inspired by Scar from The Lion King, and there's no cap. Pampered polishes has an interesting formula. I get along with some of their uh, polishes and not others, but I love a jelly. And here is a great picture of, you can really see that sort of jelly consistency. This actually looks like raspberry jam in my opinion. Um, I love this. This is going on my wish list because this is just, it's like juicy and it can be fall. It can be summer. I mean, you can and even if you think about it, if you put like a little gold micro French tip on it, ooh, I love this. This is going on the wish list. Probably going in the cart as well. Next up, we have Paradox Polish. I like to win. Is that so wrong? And it's inspired by Wednesday. Uh, it's a light blue with silver magnetic. Um, it's the third polish in the Wednesday, Wednesday theme. It's inspired by Bianca. Um, that must be part of the show. I haven't watched the show. There's no cap here. This is really cool. Uh, what I don't like about it is the way they magnet, uh, um, magnetized it. I don't like the sort of like magnetic line at the bottom of the nails, That's but that's not the polish. That's just however they magnetized it. Here's a different picture. Um, they use some sort of like swirl uh, magnetic, and then we can see it here. Just all kinds of different ways. I like that sort of silver blue combo of the magnet. Um, I don't need another magnetic and I definitely don't need another blue, but this is really cool. Paradox Polish. Penelope Luce, Piper and Alex duo. Uh, this is inspired by un unforgettable couples. Piper and Alex. I don't know who Piper and Alex are. Um, last time I think we had Morticia and Gomez and that one was, was really easy for me to uh, know but I don't uh, Piper and Alex I just don't know um, Piper is the orange magnetic with iridescent orange flakies and Alex has black flakies and gold reflective glitter there's 150 of these of the duo and then there will be a cap for the singles as well let's see if we can get some single okay here this is the Piper uh, polish on its own and you can see the magnetic stripe there in the middle and then here's the alex on its own not really my thing it's a little little too much gold for me so neither one of these nor the duo is going to go on my list pepper polish they are fairly new to hella handmade creations i think last month was their first was their debut month um and this is the second in the my favorite movie me before you series uh pink credential i'm sorry the the title is pink credential it is a light neon pink with duo, duochrome shimmer, blue to pink holographic and reflective silver glitters. Three coats were used for these photos, just so you know. Um, and it's a hundred bottle, a hundred of these are available. This is not my thing. I don't like reflective glitters. I don't wear pink that often. Uh, so this is not for me. Although it is very pretty. So I can see why pink lovers would get this. 
Another duo here from Phoenix Indie Polish, Symphony and So High, and this is inspired by Coldplay. And I looked at this already, and I can tell you one of these is, is going on my wish list. Um, so Symphony is the brown jelly base with turquoise green blue Aurora Shimmer, and So High is the magnetic multichrome uh, golden pink green metallic flakies. Um, 150 of these duos are available. So here is the one that's going on my list. This is the, this must be, yeah, this is Symphony. So it's that jelly base with the turquoise green and blue Aurora Shimmer. This is um, another shot of the Symphony. And then this is So High. I am more of a Symphony person. We've got a base coat by Red Eyed Lacquer. Treat Me Base Coat. Um, it's hydrating. Um, prickly pear water replenishes, revitalizes, and supports hydration. Uh, co coconut and castor bean creates a protective barrier. Very cool. It's just, you know, it's a regular base coat. Nothing um, super special about it, and there's no cap. So if you're in need of a new base coat and you want to try it, that's great. I think most of us have base coats just all over the house so I won't be getting it but if you're in need of one that's great that they have it this month all right red-eyed lacquer their color contribution to the month it's called valley of lilies it's inspired by birth flowers uh, it's a light purple curly with pink purple shifting shimmer and hollow it's inspired by lily of the valley 200 of these available I, this is just not for me it's a little too dusty lilac it's just not my jam so um, sorry, not, not for me, red eye, not this time. Rogue Lacquer, something there that wasn't there before. This is inspired by Beauty and the Beast. It's a strawberry leaning pink with no, with bright pink shimmer, scattered hollow and, and hollow flakes. There's no cap. I personally will not pick this up. However, if you wanted, if you like this, or if you missed out on their polish pickup offering, uh, for May, um, their polish pickup offering was very similar to this. It was just a little bit of a more pastel pink. So it's a, it's a good one to pick up if you're really into Rogue Lacquer um, and if you missed out on, on polish pickup. Really pretty. I mean, it's a really pretty color. It's just not something I would wear very often. Sassy Cat's Lacquer Booyah. It's inspired by Nintendo Switch games. It's watermelon pink with color shifting flakes, uh, pink ghost flakes and metallic ghost flakes and gold metallic flakes 100 of these available this i love i love that sort of watermelon strawberry uh color and this is very juicy and, and it didn't say it was a jelly did it no it didn't say it was a jelly but to me this looks very jelly very juicy um and i've never tried sassy cats and i've really been saying it for months now that i want to try it this one's going on the wish list because I this is a really cool color. Wow, over here you can see my wish list is getting a little, a little high there. Sassy pants polish, scarlet macaws. This is uh, in their series, the creatures in nature. Um, and oh, okay, so the macaw is the most recognized and most popular parrot species in the world. Um, so this is a gorgeous bright red ultra holographic polish with a touch of blue and yellow um, and holographic glitters. A hundred of these available. They don't really have great pictures right now. Uh, I would love if they had some swatches. So I, even if I saw swatches, I would say no to this one just because I'm not that sort of magenta kind of person. But I think to really get an, an idea of what you're, what you're buying, they should Hopefully they will post more uh, pictures of this. So I'm gonna say no to this one. Um, let's keep moving. Sassy Sauce Polish Wind Sweat. This is the Butterfly series that they are doing. It's a turquoise thermal with coral glitter, pink, gold, green shifting shimmer. Um, there's only 200 available. So the cold side is this teal side, the turquoise side on the right. And the warm side is the quote unquote colorless on the left. I don't think it's really colorless. Um, I saw, I believe 
Caitlin swatches. I saw her video on this. I believe she had this one on her video. And these circular glitters are really very sparse. So if you want a lot of these circular glitters, that's not what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this sort of sparse um, polka dot style that's that's on the left hand side. Um, I personally don't purchase a lot of thermals because they do have an expiration um, to where the polish doesn't expire, but the thermal shift does. So, uh, I mean, the polish can probably last years, but the thermal may only last, I don't know, a year or something. So I'm gonna say no to this just because I don't need it, but I think this is really cool and it's a really great uh, color shift. And I love when you can get out like this and you can get all these different um, all these different um, thermal combinations. So pretty cool, pretty cool looking polish. Next up, Schlee polish. There's, there is no Dana. And of course, what do you say after that? There is only Zool. This is inspired by Ghostbusters. It's an orange and gold, it's an orange polish with gold flecks and shimmers in a red orange tinted base. No cap on this one. I don't really need another orange, um, but I do like this sort of, it almost looks like fire on your nails, like it's a candle flame or something. Um, really cool, really cool, interesting polish, just not for me. Swamp Gloss Hero Gasm. This is inspired by The Boys. I don't know that reference. It's a blurple jelly, it's a blurple jelly base, yellow matte hexes, and pink, red, orange iridescent flakes. 300 of these available. This is pretty cool looking. The, those yellow hex glitters that are in there really set off the polish nicely. I think that's pretty cool. I don't need another blue though, so I'm gonna say no, but I think it's, it's fun, it's definitely fun. Victorian Varnish Anti-Time Tablets. Uh, it's the Curiosities at the Apothecary series. It's a teal aqua base with a strong purple to pink to gold shifting shimmer with UCC flakies. Uh, 250 cap. I'm, I'm putting this on my list. And here it is in matte. I'm, I don't know if I like it matte very much, but here it is. You can see all those purple flakies floating around and who doesn't love a good teal? I mean, come on really pretty that's that's on the wish list for sure watch it indie polish we've got another duo uh it's from the series inspired by the seasons so this is the uh, fall season um autumn forest is a military green base with shimmer and holographic pigment and then dry leaves is the copper green gold multi-chrome flakes orange iridescent, uh, iridescent flakes and gold glitter a hundred of these available so here you can, this picture shows you a really good uh, sampling. The left is the autumn forest green, the middle is the two of them layered together, and the right, uh, that's the dry leaves polish. And honestly, those names are perfect for, for these. I mean, if you look at the right one, doesn't that look like you're crunching around in leaves that have fallen off the tree? That's perfect, I love that. I don't need any of these. Um, but I just think they could not have picked better names. And finally, let's take a look at Zombie Claw and Townville is under attack. And this is um, another one in their Powerpuff Girls series. It's a purple base filled with red, gold, green, purple flakies and white glitters. And only a hundred of these are available. And who does not love a squishy purple polish? I don't know anyone who doesn't love that. I mean, you probably don't, but that's okay. You don't have to, we don't have to love the same polishes. Um, I really love this. I'm gonna put it on my wish list uh, because it's hard for me to resist a squishy purple polish. Let's take a look at my wish list. Um, since that was our last, our last polish. So I've got 13 on here. And you can see with these small little uh, pictures pulling up, I actually had some some variants this time. You know, normally you've got the same colors going on, but I do have, you know, I've several blues. I mean, look at this right here in a row. There are four blues right there and a couple of purples up here at the top, some teal, aqua, and green. Um, but look, I've got some pink and red and even a white. I'm pretty proud of myself. 
I'm not gonna purchase all of these. I, you know, I just can't. You can't purchase everything. So I will probably whittle it down to three. Um, an absolute, you know, 100% I'm going to purchase is this painted polish uh, because I have the first two in the series and I love it. Oh, and I forgot the Caloris de Carol. All right, maybe I'll purchase four. I mean, if I had to guess right now, I it would probably be the painted polish, the Caloris de Carol, the pampered polish, and the Sassy Cat's Lacquer. I think those are the four that um, I would go with right now. If I had to make my decision at this moment, that's what I would go with. But we'll see when we get to the 14th what uh, what comes up. I have to look at, I have to remind myself of what the caps are. Um, you know, if they're small caps, I have to make those purchases first. So that is the end of our, our wish list look into May 2023 Hella Handmade Creations. I hope you enjoyed yourself and that you found some goodies that you want to put on your own wish list. Um, if there are polished brands that you have tried that I have not tried and you want to give some advice or, you know, uh, any kind of comments you want on your polishes, please leave them down below. I love engaging with you. And thank you all for joining me so much. I will see you next time. Have a great day.